I chose to come to this university for one because of the great scholarship program that they have and also because at the time that I came to the university in 2001 it was the only university in Canada that offered a justice and law enforcement program. Since the age of 14 or 15 when I knew I wanted to become a lawyer because I was particularly argumentative with my parents at a young age. I focused on primarily criminal law because it's the most interesting and that's what I zoned my interest in. The University of Winnipeg helped me become what I am today. I'm primarily a lawyer but it also instilled in me um, the need to work at a job that you're passionate about and one that also assists in the larger contributions to society. Uh, the University of Winnipeg also taught me to uh, work hard at what you do and I'm fortunate enough to have the privilege of working at three jobs. I like to stay busy and diverse as well. Um, my primary employment is as Director of Content Development at LexisNexis Canada and that's a large business leadership position combined with my love of legal research and legal nerdism which is a direct uh, impact of my time at University of Winnipeg staying late nights at the library, of course, till midnight. I am also still a practicing lawyer. I take on a few pro bono files a year as well. I am a contract instructor at Kwantlen Polytechnic University in British Columbia, and I'm part of the criminology faculty. And that is a direct link from my time at University of Winnipeg. I was uh, very eager and always wanting to learn more about criminology and take advantage of this great program that University of Winnipeg had to offer and my pursuit of always achieving the perfect grade and the perfect exam score landed me the opportunity to become a teaching assistant with Professor Colin Goff and that was just a dream come true for me as a second year student and that was my first foray into teaching and it had a large impact on my career today. Technology now has allowed us to connect with one another in a much easier fashion. It's easier to update your information. Um, and it's also really rewarding and inspirational to see the successes of other alumni, either at one of these events or if you're reading about them in articles or if you're learning about some student project or positive impact that it's had on either a small or larger community. It's always uh, close to my heart when you hear about those stories and read about these successes. Whether or not you know the person, you feel some type of connected kinship to them because you're all alumni from the same school and you all were raised as a student in this fantastic environment that has the smaller class sizes, closer attention to students. You really feel that the professors and the university care about preparing you to enter the larger workforce world, whether it's right after University of Winnipeg or like myself to enter law school. I was a bursary recipient as well and uh, received other scholarship uh, monies and that assisted me significantly in achieving my goal of going to law school and becoming a lawyer. I did so at a relatively young age and I was able to use some of these very specialized courses in University of Winnipeg to propel my acceptance into law school which was my ultimate goal. I didn't know that the courses were going to be of such, I mean, I, I knew that they were of high caliber, but I wasn't expecting to enjoy them so much and to really get as much out of them as I have. Um, simply put, University of Winnipeg was my ticket to the life that I wanted and that I'm leading today. If I'm able to pass that along to someone, then that's the least that I can do for them. It's it's significant, it's of great assistance to those that are in 
receipt of these bursaries and um, it's something that I feel compelled to do and others should consider donating as well.